Texas Music Chart, and this is Kyle Earhart with Lower 40. Mm. Okay, I have a question for you. Okay. This is a definition and derivation question. Woo. It's very important and very heavy. You Bring ready? I'm ready. Right. I'm ready. The Lower 40 mm -hmm. is that part of land at the lowest elevation, sometimes the location or direction of a pond or stream. So, I want to know, Kyle, <laughs> <laughs> whose, whose land are we talking about when we talk about Lower 40? Um, we are talking about uh, people who love having a good time. That's their land. The land, the land Lower 40, we like to um, use that term for is uh, like a floodplain, just like kind of the, def you know, the yeah. smaller country version of that. Wikipedia definition. <laughs> That's um, a dictionary definition, the, hey, man. Well, Come on. I haven't touched one of those. Um, <laughs> we, uh, no, it's uh, it's the floodplain. You can't really use it for anything else but to pull your truck up, build a bonfire, and hang out and have a good time. So, you're on radio tour. Whew, another one. Another one. Another one and yeah. why are you doing this now? Going on radio tour and actually introducing yourselves to someone who doesn't know you, or seeing, like this trip, we're seeing a lot of people we saw for our first single, it's just making that making that relationship with mm -hmm. the radio DJ is, is really important. We're in contact with all the DJs that play our songs, and even even like outside of music, we have that friendship that you know we can call them anytime we need to if we need something. Or it's just it, and that's it's been so much fun. Tell me about the NCAA. It seems like you are the band of the I, NCAA. We, we, we really didn't notice that until uh, we, we just did the national anthem um, and played a gig for the NCAA Women's uh, Volleyball National Championship. Oh, like volleyball, do uh, you? Oh, uh, well, anyway. Well, uh, <laughs> it's another interview. Yes. Um, no, and we, my uh, name is not Hefner. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... We did that for the, the because the volleyball final four came into Oklahoma City and uh, we have done because we we do the anthem and we work with the Thunder a lot mm -hmm. for, yes, in Oklahoma yes. City and so when they bring in college collegiate sports the Thunder kind of give them names give them info from people in the city uh -huh. so they ended up calling us and we have a great uh, a great connection with a, a lady that works with the Big Twelve. Oh, conference. Wonderful. So pretty much uh, it's been, we did golf. Uh, we performed at a banquet for the NCAA golf tournament uh, at Canes Ballroom in Tulsa, which was cool. really fun. Yeah. Uh, done the anthem for, wow, golf, volleyball, basketball, um, and also softball. Um, the national anthem is, uh, shall we say, ingrained in your life. I understand your singing career began at age three. Yes. Yeah. Actually, wow. Yeah. Easy to hit the high notes, huh? Yeah, okay, yeah, <laughs> and half of the words. And half uh, the words. Yeah. yeah, that was my first uh, first time I ever sang in front of people. I was uh, three and a half. I did it at a professional basketball game, and yeah, I knew you know half the words, but you could understand it. Right. Uh, yeah, that's kind of where it started for me. That's wild. <laughs> it's really cool. I mean, yeah. it's not to think that here you are now, and your career and the band are just busting through. And you're still doing it. Oh, absolutely. That that obviously means something. It does. What is the most exciting thing that's happened to you? Because I know a lot of new things are happening. Oh yeah, absolutely. What's, um, what's the biggest one? We took a uh, took a recent trip to Nashville back in November uh, for a showcase. Um, we were told, you know, who was going to be there, and then we weren't told who everybody was exactly. Uh, but uh, the main person was. Um, some people from Buddy Lee Attractions, mm -hmm. uh, Nashville's longest running booking agency, and we played a 35 minute showcase for them. It was eight songs, and that was it. Um, they, they gave us a call the next morning. Wonderful. Uh, and it was like, we're, we're ready to go. So that is, uh, that is what's happened recently, and this year is already building up to be a big one. Good, we're so really you're working excited. more, yeah, going absolutely. to more places. Traveling a lot more, uh, playing bigger, doing all the festivals and fairs. Great. Um, the first festival we got set up in was Thunder on the Mountain in Arkansas with Zach Brown and Carrie Underwood and, and, and Stoney right. and all those guys. Right. So we're, uh, we're Where exactly looking for in Arkansas? It's it? just in the Ozark Mountains. Oh, okay. it's, I mean, it's literally a big piece of land that they just uh, take over for the weekend. Um, it's all online, just thunderonthemountain.com, and we're a part of a, 
a big group of amazing artists. We're we're so I I I wanted to, I wish it was this weekend. Like we're really excited. You're ready and of course to go. it's not till June, so we're like, oh, we gotta <laughs> wait. So Okay, well let's talk about Shot in the Dark. Yeah. That's doing pretty well. Absolutely, yeah. We're actually uh, really excited. We, it was a, uh, it's. I think it's always a tough decision on what song to put out. Yes. How yeah. did you decide? Uh, our our first song, you know, we put out "Call Me Crazy." Uh, we knew we were going to put out "My Country" as our second one, but our, our third one we kind of went back and forth on. I think we had it down to three different songs. Well, we were trying trying to have a different sound. This one, uh, is pretty rocking. It's mm -hmm. it's you know and we're known for acoustic driven wow. vocal harmonies and this one is I mean this one's you know electric guitar in your face yeah. so we and we thought it was a, a cool idea to release this one as our single and it uh, as of as of last uh, uh, Friday I know it was uh, dropped dropped in the top fifty on the regional charts and you know it's it's keep climbing and we still got more radio tour to go so we're excited to see where yeah. it, where it ends up. Kyle, Laura Forty, great music, lots of fun, enjoy, and stand tall. Always. <laughs>